President of our country, and more especially, as I understand it's politically right to know, to speak of her as of the feminine gender. <laughs> I'm also glad to see the ladies present here, 
always a pleasant sight for a crusty old bachelor like myself. <laughs> well, this is a historical society. True, we do not go as far back as the late Brian Boru or the late Oliver Cromwell, but uh, we do what we can do in a period of Irish history which has been hitherto extremely neglected. Because after all, how people move about from one place to another or move their goods or move their cattle is always of importance and of interest to all of us. That's what we have set out to do and I think we are doing it fairly well. Now, there's not much more to say, just that I am extremely honoured in the name of the society that President Robinson should have given us our company today. She is what truly might be called a busy woman. She has a great deal of very, very important business to attend to. We must not occupy too much of her time, but we are very, very honoured that she should have come here to show an appreciation on the part of the nation of what we amateurs can do to further the interest of Irish railways in the historical sense. Now, we also pay a tribute to those important people who have the job of keeping the wheels turning in this country and do it so well in spite of many discouragements. President Robinson is accustomed to meeting the people. She's known for that, for her courtesy and her kindness and her goodwill to us all. We're honoured here by having her today, and I should remember I have been admonished to occupy as short a time as possible in the interests of everybody. I therefore ask her, will she say anything? But first of all, I'll ask her to accept this little souvenir. It's a book which was being compiled by our committee oh of yes. the society and what the society has done and what the society hopes to do. And I hope that some evening, if she has time, she'll put her feet on the fender and read the book. <laughs> Thank, Thank you very much. much. Well, Chairman and members of the Irish Railway Record Society, I was delighted to receive the invitation to come here to your headquarters in Houston Station um, during the year in which you celebrate your Golden Jubilee, your 50th anniversary year. Um, I'm aware that you've only been based here since 1983, but nonetheless, it is very much the home of the society, the home of your archives, and the place of your library, um, which I've just briefly uh, had an, an opportunity to see. And I did get good background reading before coming here. Some of it, I think, am now presented in this uh, very fine bound uh, volume. And it occurred to me that this is a society whose story is, in fact, well told. And I'm very glad of that because it is um, a unique and important story, a story of um, a commitment to uh, the idea of the importance of the ways of transporting and um, of the importance of rail um, transport, of the um, archival material, which has a special value because this is an all-island society and therefore can link with um, archival and other material um, that tells a very detailed, meticulous story of the building of the rail, of the rolling stock, of the places it went through, um, very detailed maps, very detailed accounts. And uh, I'm somebody who has always placed great emphasis and value on archival material, on archives, on history, on libraries. And you have here um, in your society's premises um, all of that gathered together. Um, I like the detail of the story. Um, I wonder what it was like in Heinz's restaurant in October of 1946. And one of the interesting things is I know that there are some people here who could tell us in more detail <laughs> what it was like. And Chairman, I think you represent very well the spirit of this very special society. Um, spirit and humour, I may say. Um, I did enjoy being brought into the archives by Mr. Lecky. And first thing he says, this is a very dull place. 
but he said it with passion in his voice. <laughs> and, and, and as we went through, um, he kept sort of understating the treasures that he was showing me. And uh, that, I think, says a lot too about the nature of this special society. Um, once somebody has become a member, they've all obviously remained a dedicated and indeed immersed member um, with a real sense of what this society has built up over 50 years and has retrieved from a much older past and gathered here so that it is accessible. And it is being accessed. It's being accessed by uh, modern Ireland, including by um, CIE's um, needs and um, the uh, ongoing railway needs. It's also being accessed by scholars and um, students. I saw some of the theses inside and was very glad to see that a number of them are now being done by young women with an interest in um, transport, in transport records, in the detail um, of the um, uh, way of doing and the countryside during, through which it was done, the, the extraordinary detail of that. And uh, when I said that I enjoyed the humour, um, I was reflecting before coming here this morning of a completely, a, a completely irrelevant incident that happened to me. Um, but it happened uh, when I was attending a resident um, conference in England, one of these uh, places where they gathered people together to talk about, uh, I think in this case it was European issues. We were far away from any distraction and we were going to be addressed by a number of uh, important people including the then Minister for Foreign Affairs, Garrett Fitzgerald. It seems appropriate I would refer to him as a, a railway enthusiast himself. And uh, he was to come and address the dinner on the first evening. And then a message came through that uh, the minister, Dr. Garrett Fitzgerald, would be arriving early because he was coming by rail and not by plane. And <laughs> there was no explanation of this, but it was a, a wonderful example of somebody who uh, was coming earlier because he'd chosen to come by railway. And I think that uh, revealed part of his interest and preoccupation. And I know that um, that genuine interest in uh, transport records, in the uh, uh, sense of both change and conservation which this society represents um, is a very deep and heartfelt interest and I'm delighted uh, to salute it um, during your 50th anniversary year. Um, this society has made a very considerable contribution to the story of transport on this island and throughout this island. Um, it's a story that is changing very rapidly and this society has changed the way of telling it and has now made it accessible in computer catalogues and on the internet and I think that all of that um, is a, an important way of developing the access, the retrieval and most of all the treasuring of that important part of our past. It's a great pleasure to be with you. Um, I think I would like to spend the rest of the time meeting some other passionate people committed to what was described wrongly as a dull place. It's anything but a dull place. Thank you.